Hi everyone, it's been a long time and I hope you're doing well. Over the past year, many talented mod authors have continued to bring a variety of new mods to Skyrim Special Edition and I recently decided to jump back in to see what's changed. If you'd like to see what mods I'm currently using in my game, I've made an extensive list for you to take a look at, the link for which can be found in the description below. I've also left timestamps there for you to use if you'd like to skip to a certain part of the video. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, and as always, please enjoy. slower than Argonians in a blizzard. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor. There goes another one. Bah, weak-willed rabble. Even dead, they're almost useless.
itself get surrounded. Impressive. You there! You're the one they call Dragonborn! Then it is too late. The lie has already taken root in the hearts of men. So we shall expose to them the falseness in their hearts by tearing out yours, deceiver! When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness! None shall stand to oppose him! Time to die! <laughs> <laughs> Stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. So you're the Dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking for this. We need to talk. Follow me.
close the door. Now we can talk. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. Surprise? I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. You can't be too careful. Thalmor spies are everywhere. I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a Thalmor trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be Dragonborn. I'm part of a group that's been looking for you. Well, someone like you, for a very long time. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. We remember what most don't, that the Dragonborn is the ultimate Dragon Slayer. You are the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Can you do it? Can you devour a dragon's soul? Good, and you'll have a chance to prove it to me soon enough. Yes, we're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. But that isn't important right now. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They weren't gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. And I figured out where the next one will come back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. Kynes Grove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. I need to get into my traveling gear. Give me a minute and I'll be ready. I heard they live there in time. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Yogan. Can Jürgen. you even imagine? Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da, which means push. Da. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of Da. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. Oh! 
Dover King. You have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. No! You don't want to go up there! A dragon! It's attacking! It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon burial mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Come on. We need to find out what's happening up there. Salukunir, Zil Guru Dova Ulsa. Sled. Whatever you want to know, nothing held back. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest dragon slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Really? Where? Interesting. 
Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. The faction that rules the Aldmeri Dominion. The ones who almost destroyed the Empire during the Great War 30 years back. There's no worse enemy to humankind in Tamriel. The Empire barely survived the last war. The Thalmor don't intend to lose the next one. Nothing solid yet, but my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. The Thalmor ambassador, Elenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Melbourne. Any questions? Don't worry about Melbourne. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the Ambassador's parties. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Sounds good. Be careful.
If you've come to Solitude to join the Legion, speak to Ricker. If not, just keep your nose clean while you're here, or you'll end up like Rogvir. You're just in time to say hello to Rogvir. He's a sorry bastard who's going to be executed. A gate guard who let Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he killed the High King. They can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Positions. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Get on with it! Traitor! You betrayed us! You should us. tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all hard, man. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder! Ulfric Lion. challenged Torig. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo! On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Come in, and shut the door. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Let's see if we can't find an outfit that suits you. It is when my customers waste time chatting, and not buying. Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Finally. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. This Take one's a, a favorite of mine. Enjoy the atmosphere. A legend we all know and love. Our hero, our hero, claims a yes. warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn Good morning. comes. With a voice wielding power Nord. of the ancient Nord art. Really? Believe, You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. You'll know, you'll know the dragonborns come. You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry.
given Nalborn the gear he wants to smuggle into the embassy? Have you given Nalborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe in an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. You're ready. Keep the rest of your gear safe. You'll only have what Melbourne smuggled in for you unless whatever you can get out of this. You can't go to the We have a Dalmor embassy just like that. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open them up. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, I'll be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive. little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less, I salute you, sir. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this godsforsaken mountain than any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please, you first. I insist. Welcome to the Tholmore Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, sir. Go right in. There's not enough. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. The Thalmor Embassy welcomes you. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Elinwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? I heard ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, tell me more about yourself. What brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just no that we've run winter, out of the Alto the wine. Do I have your permission Even to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. Between the dragons and the storm cloaks, my coffers are running dry. I've spent many hours in council meetings lately, grappling with that problem. These are troubling times indeed. Helen so Wen always throws quite a party to hunt down, down the bandits. Travel has become dangerous. Suddenly. I'm so glad you could I attend could today. It myself. It's been quite often, yes. News from the only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury sure with those true. who can appreciate it. it. Like every but I also Skyrim enjoy learning the latest gossip and, and hearing the most no, intriguing news. Really of course not. Forge. One does not gather the most important forge. men and women of Skyrim and then serve them cheap ale and the stale bread. As much as this mine. is only a taste of I've the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. We must keep faith in ourselves and the divines. One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justicias throughout Skyrim. Although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the horde. little better than a slum. It's shameful that the dark elves are The Thalmor Justicias are so are often misunderstood. Our primary goal is to preserve well, the peace between the, the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. The, the worship of the They're false god Talos contributed to the unfortunate friction that led to the Great War. Following the Great War, 
the white gold concordat set out the terms for peaceful coexistence between the two powers. The Empire and the Dominion agreed that the worship of Talos was a relic of the past and must be eliminated in the interests of peace. But I'm sure you didn't come here for a lecture on high politics. Do enjoy yourself. One thing everyone can agree on. This war is bad for business. I'll not argue that. Heard any interesting gossip lately? The East Empire Company has interests all across Tamriel, inside and outside the Empire's borders. We try not to get involved in politics. However, as the head of the company, it's my job to make sure we maintain good relationships with prospective partners and investors. A delicate question, to be sure. I'm the Emperor's cousin, and the Empire has little love for the Thalmor. On the other hand, the Thalmor have considerable funds and are looking to expand their shipping. I haven't signed any deals yet, but I'm sure my cousin would want a cut if I do. What better way to soothe his wounded pride? I'll leave you to it then. Oh? Something interesting, I hope. Oh, I hope they'll serve I don't know. With a bit of green I don't want to do anything that might offend Elenwyn. There is a lot of money at stake, delicious. after all. You speak truly. Have you heard any interesting rumors of late? I've yes, that's probably for the best. I really shouldn't risk getting on Elenwyn's bad side. The degeneracy of the Empire is on display I'm here sure. in this room. They're probably trying to scare us into giving What does a fellow need to do to get it? So My friend, them. you are very perceptive. I have a powerful thirst that cannot be slaked. And none of the waiters will bring me a drink. Helen Wynn must have told him to cut me up, a frigid bitch. Have you Afraid I'll cause another scene, I suppose. I can scarcely feed the staff in my palace. I need another drink. Same troubles. Please, what can Help I get for you? Here you go, sir. Colovian brandy. See ya. The hospitality of the Thalmor Embassy is at your service. These storm cloaks are nothing. The degeneracy of the Empire is on display here in this room. What does a fellow need to. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles! If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon sign of shipping out anytime soon. Some say the ship suffered damage to her. Wonderful! I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Of course, Say on, would never friend. Such a thing. Captain Is Sadius that all? My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say is that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Can be Stand back and behold friend. my handiwork. You have need. Attention, everyone! Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our that? mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively, of course. Ugh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Let's go, let's go, before anyone notices us. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. On. 
someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Let me do the docking. I need good Did luck. You see those robes? You're on your own this now. morning. Who are they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will eat the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our rounds. I need that money. I earned it. I have my own expenses, you Silence. know. Silence! Do not presume, Gissa. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less offensive. But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks in the end. Now, I have work to do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, no, I'll... I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. Now, get out. Rollendil. <laughs> One day the shoe will be on the other foot.
Oh, please. I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rollindil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. The rules. I've already told you everything. No! Stop! Ah! I told you. I don't know anything else about it. What? Who? What? Listen what do you up, want spy. then? You're trapped in here, and we have your yeah. Advice. Sure. Surrender immediately. Uh, okay. Or you both Come on. Die. This way. I've yeah, seen the guards use it to get rid of bodies. Move Must lead somewhere. Slowly. Let's get out of here. I saw guards dropping bodies over here. Might be a way out. Hey! Watch it! It's got to be here somewhere. Force! Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. I saw guards dragging bodies over here. Might be a way out. Let's get out of here. We've got to get out of here. Let's get... Hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. Huh? You didn't have to help me, so thanks. Oh, hello. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? Some wine, please? Come Esper? Around. He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years wine, ago. Please? That around. crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. 
You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the Blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons, if anybody does. Do they know where he is? Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Hi everyone, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more from Skyrim Special Edition, be sure to let me know. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.